Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Alexandra Tomaszewska and I'm a professional tax advisor. Today we will discuss the topic how to organize work with cash. I mean if you have business in Ukraine and for example it's a retail store or service company for example sport club or beauty salon or something that you have regular customers, regular people who come to your uh, store or salon, uh, you probably supposed to be able to work with cash correctly, which is important because we have in Ukraine some strict rules about working with cash. I mean, to serve people who pay cash. Because um, I know, as I know, in some other country that is not that strict, but um, the latest changes of the law were, um, were very strict. So uh, in Ukraine, first of all, you have to know that in Ukraine, we can't work with cash without fiscalized cash register. So you're supposed to use the device or software which is like cash register it, it, it can be uh, like a real device uh, you can touch it or it can be a program in your computer and uh, both of these things uh, they uh, are used by um, I mean when you get a customer you need to put this information into your cash register and uh, in the end of the day, uh, you close the day and you send this information about your cash operation um, to tax authorities. It is vitally important to do this correctly because uh, the fine is pretty pretty big. You know, uh, first first time you make mistake, for example, you're getting cash and you don't give the uh, fiscal uh, check you don't give the, your customer any uh, legal information about this transaction and uh, if you do this so first time it's 100% fine of this amount that you you got this wrong right and every next uh, violation of the law will cost you 150% fine um, because you didn't use cash register, fiscalized cash register. So be 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 very uh, be very careful with uh, cash discipline in Ukraine because even if you work like private entrepreneur, it is prohibited. Do not use the cash register, the fiscalized cash register when you're getting cash. And by the way, the other rule is if you have on your website, imagine you have e-commerce business and you use internet acquiring, uh, according to our law, you have to uh, connect it with a cash register system. Usually it's a cash register software. Uh, so if, of course, you don't do this physically uh, by yourself, uh, yes, you have the program which is connected to uh, to a server of tax authority and uh, this way you obey all the rules. So, uh, and by the way, you don't use cash register only to get money. You also use cash register when you give money back. For example, your customer wants his money back and uh, you have to give him a check and a confirmation which is fiscalized as well and every day this information is sending by uh, the wireless connection you send it to a tax authority server so um, you uh, if you want to work with cash you know if you want to serve your customers well you have to organize this work you also by the way if you work as a company not like a private entrepreneur but as a company you are um, supposed to put your money on a bank account every day all your cash you have to uh, we call this in cash in right kind of that stuff. So you have to hang out your money to bank account every day. And of course, when you have this complex tax audit, 
um, it is a very interesting thing for tax authorities to check all the transactions in cash because, as I said, the penalties are pretty high. Well, I believe that uh, when you start your business in Ukraine, you will do everything correctly. And we will talk about important business rules in Ukraine next time. Thank you for watching. That was Alexandra Tomaszewska. Goodbye.